Thomas. Aliens! We've been calling them the Dominators. That is not the name of a species that comes in peace. We must exterminate your kind before the scourge of your planet becomes the scourge of ours. Counting a Maxwell Lord bonus book, in the third story from Justice League International number 24 by Keith Giffen, J.M. DeMatteis, Kevin McGuire, and Joe Rubenstein, the team has a post-invasion superhero party at the New York Embassy. It doubles as a recruitment drive for a second European-based division. Everyone seems happy to see a real Green Lantern in Hal Jordan, especially Hawkman. Hal himself is pleased to see Ray Palmer and Ralph Dibney, saying it felt like old times. He's got his back to Kate Har and doesn't reference him, so it's almost as cold as when Ray says, too bad Flash could couldn't be here. Wally West was standing right there, but elongated man sort of consoled with, he means the real Flash, Wally. Meanwhile, Hawkwoman was on the other side of the room with Ice being sexually harassed by the Creeper. The Atom sat on Hal Jordan's shoulder in silent agreement as the corpsman assessed, this isn't the league I know. Hawkman thrust his finger angrily in the general direction of the group, warning that they should burn their JLI invites if they knew what was good for them. Kadar continued to exoriate the undisciplined, self-indulgent, irresponsible, foul-mouthed, immature misfits. The Thanagarian hoped that his circle of men of character and fortitude would be a good example to this lot. Adam piped in with a defense. Oh, come on, Kadar, they can't be that bad. Jean seems pretty proud of this bunch. Hawkman countered that the Martian Manhunter had changed too, singing and dancing on the front lawn while looking like Gumby when he thought no one could see him. When some Temporarily shrunken cuns were spontaneously restored to regular size. They unwisely confronted the heroes, and the Atom was one of the many metahumans tripping over themselves to round the aliens up. Having served his role as disgruntled fan proxy to the hilt, Hawkman finally took this moment to quit loudly and directly to John Jones's face. It would have been really cool if Hawkwoman had stayed on without her lesser half, but she would have soon enough been rebooted from the team regardless. Meanwhile, Shameless Elongated Man took the opportunity to sign up for Justice League Europe. Next, we're back to the home title, the Holiday 1988 cover dated Power of the Atom number 9. By Roger Stern, Graham Nolan, and K.S. Wilson, John Jones strikes an Uncle Sam pose for the splash page to declare that he wants the Atom for the JLI. Ray's already declining at the top of the following page. Palmer starts off on the, it's not you, it's me tip, but without any provocation slides right into, but actually it is you. The Atom thinks that there are too many bozos and jerks on the team, and when Guy Gardner leads a drunken conga line into the room, Ray asks, didn't we used to fight guys like him? Sure, Ray's life is a mess and he hasn't settled back into Ivy Town yet, but mainly he doesn't want to spend his time with guys with the manners of Attila the Hun who would make ringing projection bunny ears behind the Martian Manhunter's back. The Atom wasn't tolerating the open disrespect for himself and Jean, so he trips Guy so that he lands on his fanny and spills his beer. Hal Jordan jokes that Ray Palmer should have been a Green Lantern, since the Atom wasn't afraid to interrupt Batman's own hard pitch to reclaim a classic Justice Leaguer. Looking at Guy and Nort, Ray figures the core is in even worse shape than the League. If you want evidence that Hal's a moron, he took career advice from the Atom, star of exactly two short-lived solo series in the past 60 years and this last one was three decades ago. But then Hal saw financial stability in being one of the anchor series in Action Comics Weekly, soon to be reclaimed as the Superman Solo Monthly. The Atom jumps out a window to escape this asylum, drifting near weightlessly on the winds between New York skyscrapers. His newfound Al Pratt-style atomic punch allows him to rip the rear chassis off a drunken driver before he plows into a celebratory parade. A cop alerts the Atom to a nearby riot, so Ray rides a tossed bullhorn before growing to talk sense into the crowd. Failing that, he racks a guy, as you do. Batman shows to congratulate the Mighty Might on his nutcracking, and the JLI takes it from there. Alpheus Hyde accepts a collect call, and the Atom is back at Ivy University. Tricked by call forwarding, Ray walks right into a surprise welcome home party. Enrico Negrini used his return from Australia as an excuse for the celebration he didn't get when he unexpectedly came back from Brazil. Ray's surrogate father, adventurer Ted Ralston, even flew in from the Andes. Norman Brawler pitched Ray on an expanded edition of his biography for the Warner Books paperback edition. Ray was never one for big parties, so he snuck off to brew some decaf coffee before before planning to sneak out the back. He'd been looking for his ex-wife, Jean Hoban, who stumbled in looking for her own cup of java. They spoke for the first time since Ray had come home, and it was also the first Jean had heard of the deaths in Morlaid. By the end, everybody was crying as the former couple embraced, including Enrica, who stumbled upon them. Jean's current husband, Paul, recently chastised for hitting the booze too hard at the gathering, was quite the sullen boy as well. So where's the president? She's late. Well... You gotta figure she's got a lot on her plate, what with the whole alien invasion thing.
Pals of the Atom include Baby Skeletor, Brad Lenard, Chris Dunford, Chris Lydon, Dave's Comic Heroes blog, DC in the 80s, Doc Strange, Ed Moore, Firestorm Fan, Green Lantern HG, I'll Be the Light in the Dark, History of Comics on Film, Iowa's Joe Crawford, Jeffy Brown, They Them, Jim and Bruglia, Luke Lana 723, MB, Nick Spence, Robert Misson, Tim Price the Pod Crasher, Tony Nasser, and Xenozoic Xenophiles. Thank you all for your support. And while we're done with Power of the Atom podcast for now, I will do my level best to not allow for another six year gap. The preceding Atom related program is a non profit fan production. Any copyrighted materials contained therein are believed borrowed under fair use with no copyright infringement intended. Please feel free to leave comments either on the Power of the Atom blog or at Rolled Spines Productions WordPress blog. You can also send us Twitter comments through Commander Blanks, my personal account, or through the Rolled Spine Podcast Twitter. Thank you for listening.